Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today is broadcast. The ancient city of Dara in Western Armenia was visited by 1 million people in a year. Artsakh Chronicle of the War 2020-2021 We will never leave the Armenians. The President of France promised to seek a solution for a lasting peace. A new residential quarter is being built in Nahijevanik village of Artsakh. Yeras, Julfa, Ordubart, Megri, Horadis Railway will be built. Pashinyan spoke about the agreement with Aliyev. The treasure hunters robbed the historic hill in Sebastia, Western Armenia. Crafts in Western Armenia, Urfa, the oldest team in the world written by the ancestors of the Armenians, has been found. The ancient city of Dara in the Mardin province of Western Armenia has been visited by about 1 million local and foreign tourists, where excavation and restoration work are continuing. The number of visitors is growing day by day. It should be recalled that Dara was one of the most important settlements of the territory of Western Armenia. It was built as a military town in order to protect the eastern border of the Eastern Roman Empire from the Sasanians. The inner fort is built inside a walls with a length of 4 kilometers. It's like located in the north of the city on the top of the hill with a height of 50 kilometers. The ancient city consisted of buildings carved into the rock and occupied a wild area. At the end of September 2020, the conflict between Azerbaijan, Armenia and Artsakh, which has been going on for more than 30 years, started again. There are reports on battles on the military situation, losses of people and other related events in an updated chronicle of the Caucasian Note. In addition to this, almost daily bombing the history of Karabakh, Artsakh, conflict was marked by the 1991-1994 war, the military confrontation of April 2016 and the escalation into July 2020. The current military actions differ from the previous intensification of the conflict in that clashes the Artsakh conflict zone occur along the entire perimeter of the front and it looks like the first war. According to the Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan, about 3,773 Armenian servicemen were killed. The Minister of Defense of Artsakh has published lists of the names of 2,808 dead servicemen, the number of civilians killed, according to the Artsakh authorities was 50, 163 were wounded, and almost 10,000 become disabled. The Azerbaijan authorities reported the death of 2,906 servicemen, 8 more were missing. According to the Prosecutor General's Office of Azerbaijan, as of November 30, at least 93 civilians were killed, 5 people were killed, and 414 were injured as a result of the shelling and mine explosions. French President Emmanuel Macron, after a trilateral meeting with the head of Armenia and Azerbaijan in Brussels, made a post on his Twitter, noting that France will never leave the Armenians. As reported by Armen Press, after the meeting, Macron in particular tweeted, We will never leave the Armenians. We will always seek solutions for lasting peace. I call for the holiday season to be one of the humanitarian advances, one of the peace. That is why, bearing in mind the words of President Macron, President Armin Agabramian sent a request to the French Senate to put on agenda the ratification of the Treaty of Severs for the protection of Artsakh and consequently Western Armenia. The public organization Let's Support Our Heroes initiated a program for the construction of a new quarter of Nahijevanik village of Artsakh in 2021 in January. The government of Artsakh donated three hectares of land to the organization. The organization has already completed all the work on the last survey. Earthworks have already begun in Nahijevanik village. Starting from 2022, from the very beginning, the charitable public organization Let's Support Our Heroes plans to organize numerous fundraises for the construction of a new quarter in Nahijevanik. This was stated in an interview with a correspondent of Artsakh Press, chairman of the charitable organization Vigen Arabian. According to him, participation in this program is part of the mission to restore Artsakh and its settlement. During the meeting in Brussels with the President of Azerbaijan, Ilyam Aliyev, we reaffirmed our decision and agreement on the construction of the Yerask Julfa or Dubart Megri Horadis Railway. Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan stated that this at the beginning of the government meeting on December 16. This agreement was reached as a result of the Armenia-Russia-Azerbaijan Trilateral Working Group discussions chaired by the Deputy Prime Ministers of the three countries dealing with the opening of regional communications. This agreement was 
recorded during the meeting held in Sochi on November 26, and all this was recorded also at the meeting of Brussels that was held and mediated by President Charles Michel of the Europe Council. As per Pershinyan, the railway will operate in accordance with internationally accepted border and custom rules, on a principle of reciprocity and under the sovereignty and jurisdiction of the countries it will run along. According to the President Armenak Abramian, after the final destruction of the cemetery in Juha in 2005, we are facing the final stage of legitimate Armenian Nakhijevan. Located in Sebastian in Western Armenia and being the only examples of a lake, the historical hill pillar was robbed by the treasure hunters. It is assumed that a hill got its name from the Armenian word Balur. Lake Hafik, located of the province of Sebastia of the same name, is home to many species of animals. And a hill on the lake attracts special attention and admires visitors with its natural beauty. As a result of research, it turned out that it dated back to a Neolithic and Bronze Ages. The first ruins of the lake houses were discovered in 1944 during archaeological excavations. The remains of lake houses are underwater. The hill has been a place of frequent visits by treasure seekers for some time. Now it is under protection as a specially protected area has been declared. Over time, treasure hunters destroyed this place and found something precious. Recently, the hill was again in the same condition. Urfa of Western Armenia is very rich in its crafts, many of which in this city had the antiquity of century and reached the highest level of skill. The wealth and high development of crafts were also due to the geographical location of the city. Urfa was located on a crossroad of different trade routes. It is impossible to imagine the employment and professionalism of Armenians in a few lines. We briefly present the role of the Armenians of Urfa in the craft of life. The crafts of Urfa were mainly owned by local Armenians. Their skills and knowledge are due to the fame of the handicraft industries of this city. These crafts included restoration, bus money production, painting, porter, shoemaking, copper production, jewelry and many other specialists. Basmajan is a painting business that is craftsmen engraved multicolor portraits on wooden forms, then printed them on white canvases. Then all these actions were performed manually. All this developed rapidly until 1915. The anthem of 3,400 years is the oldest of the most famous episodes of music. It was created in 1,400 BC. At that time, the Armenians of the Van region were known to their head trick and Assyrian neighbors as Huri Hari. The Armenian kingdom of the Iron Age Ararat is considered to be a continuation of the Huritic kingdoms. Huritis and Urartians, together they are already known to the Persian as Armenians, are considered direct ancestors of modern Armenians. Modern Armenians are a mixture of Huritians and Urartians. The last few genetic studies confirm these conclusions, demonstrating a direct genetic continuation of modern Armenians to their ancestors. Now the musical part, Armenian folk dance song Lele. <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.